Hello friends, welcome to the new video of Laravel tips. I am Mithul Kolakia and today we are going to see Laravel Allocant Subquery. So Laravel Allocant Subquery was introduced in Laravel 6.0 to the enhancement of subqueries. So today we are going to see when to utilize it and how to use it. So for that what we are going to build today is imagine we have a post table and for the post table we can have comments to the post and whenever I am rendering my post table what I want to do is I want to retry the last latest comment that was done by any user to the post. So let's get started. So for that what I did is I already created post table then I have comments table I already did a relationship setup for comments belongs to post and post can have many comments. If we see the migration we have very simple post table where we have a user ID, we have a title, we have a body and if we go to the comments table we can have a user ID, we have a post ID and we have a comment text. So also what I did is I already set up and I already seeded the database. So if we go to the database we, we have 50 posts and we have 5 comments on each post. So basically we have 250 comments. So let's get started. So in a simple approach what I will do, uh, I already set up one route, I have one controller, I have already created a view in that, that view is being loaded when we call that route. That is very simple bootstrap for setup. I have nothing, I have just like uh, heading. So what I will do, so say like I want to retry all the post. So I will go here, I will say like post is equal to post all, nothing more. And I will pass that to my view. So I will write something with post post. yeah and uh, I will go to my view I will set up a very basic uh, table which I already created previously uh, so I will go here I will copy it and I will paste it directly over here so nothing special just like traditional table where we are running a post for loop we are getting every post and we are pasting a title let's try it out if I go here and if I run it I can see all of my post right uh, nothing pretty complex good so now what I want to do I want to add one more column over here which is the last comment which is made on every single post so what I will do I already have a relationship setup on the comments so in traditional approach I will go over here in my view I will add one more column which I will say like last comment then I will go here I will utilize my comments relationship then we want a last latest comment right so I will do short by I will say descending and we will do short by created at so all my comments will be shorted by created it in descending order then I will say give me the first comment from that and then I need comment column from that so let's try it out okay so we are getting our last comment but the problem we see over here is if you see it is firing 51 queries which is not quite good right and we are loading 300 models so which is also not good because we do not want all the comments loaded right now all the comments from the database is being loaded and we are firing 51 queries so let's work on optimizing this thing so what I can do is I can use eagle loading so I will say like with comments and then get let's try it out now if I do refresh yeah we are now 
optimized to two queries, but we are still loading 300 models, which is not good. So what we want is we want just you know 50 comments. We do not want 250 comments. So how we can do this uh, uh, with the traditional relationship? It is not possible at all. So here is the subquery comes in the place to help us. So what I will do, I will add a dynamic column while retrieving the post results. So I will do something like post is equal to post. Then I will write add select. In that we need to give our column name. Say I will say like last comment, and then. I will define what I should actually retry for that comment or for that field. So I will say like comment select our column name which is comment which we want to retry and after that we need to tell how we are going to do sub queries right. So I will say like where column post id should be post dot id and then we will say order by created at and then limit to one because we want to retry only one comment not all the comments and then I will say here get right so let's try this out and let's see what queries are being fired but yeah now we need to do one more change since we are not now retrieving all the comments and we do not want to retry because we do not want to load all 250 comments we need to use this new select column that we have added so i will go into my view i will just remove these all the things and i will write simply last comment let's try it out now if i do a refresh oops sorry there is a typo i think over here oh created at and we are good let's refresh yeah we are still getting a result and if you see now we are loading a 50 models only right we are not loading all of our comments and if we do or uh, i mean if we see the query we are just doing one query which is select post dot star then we are doing this subquery where we are saying select comment which is basically this thing then we are saying from comments where post id is equal to post dot id which is basically this thing where we have specified where column post underscore id and post dot id then order by created it and limit uh, i think we need to specify descending order over here and let's try to refresh it again so we are seeing order by created at descending limit one so what it will do it will retry one single comment which will be available as last comment field while we retry all the results and basically it will be added as one more field into the elegant model so this is how you can retry a single object from your relationship records where you need only one single record and you don't need to load all of your models into memory and you can achieve it by just one single query with doing subquery so i hope it will be useful thank you